Hi everyone, this is Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So today we'd like to explain a little bit about what the grade A cell supply is versus the uh, grade B supply. Um, there has been some confusion in regards to why we're claiming our cells are certificate, certified automotive grade. So we'd like to explain, you know, why that is and also give you a little bit of insight on what is commonly available on the internet and why what you're buying is not genuine, uh, they're rejected cells, and what some of the issues uh, can be. So we'll begin by what the certification standard for lithium iron phosphate cells are in China. Uh, the standard it used to be the GP-T31485-2015, and that's basically a standard that the uh, Chinese government came out with, uh, letting all manufacturers of cells uh, know that they need to meet this standard if they want to sell to automotive OEMs. And that's for safety reasons because some of the original cells were not built correctly. They were prone to catching fire. So this was the government's way of uh, tackling the situation. Uh, the standard has been updated to GB38031-2020. Uh, but because of COVID, implementation has been slow. So many cells are still using the original GP slash T31485-2015 standard. But for whatever cell that Eve comes out in the future, it's probably going to uh, change to, to this standard. So let's actually look at the um, cert, the actual uh, EVE official document. So uh, as you can see, once you open it up and look at the uh, information, you will see that for testing standards and stuff like that, they say, this is the standard that we do it and it's on page four so you can sort of see how um, how that is and and verify that that is the standard that testing and it is if we look on if you do a google search and search for the gpt you'll see that this is a uh, testing standard for uh, safety requirements and test methods for the traction battery of electric vehicle so it is an automotive grade cell. It's an automotive grade battery. That's what its intended purposes are. And if you meet that requirement, then it is a certified cell uh, for that. But as you'll see in this video, not all cells meet that requirement. And that is why those cells are sold as grade B. So um, while we're on this spreadsheet, I do wanna also just kind of give you a brief overview. Um, EVE cells, their official cells, either six cells per box or 200 per pallet. And they have a case ID for, for both ways that you can buy these cells from. So either they're, they're either going to have a pallet ID or they're going to have a sort of a case ID. So keep that in mind. Going back to sort of our uh, uh, preview, we will uh, go to how they are uh, sort of uh, sold. So if you have a cell and it did not meet certification, this certification, you cannot sell that to automotive OEMs in China and many parts of the world. It's mandated by the Ministry of Transportation in China, and there's just really no leeway on that. So we get our cells usually in pallets, and we usually have pallet shipments of anywhere from 1,000 uh, to 1,500 cells. Sometimes it can be as low as 500, depending on supply. Um, you will see that they come with an official EVE seal. They also have an amp R rating. As you can see, even grade A will vary from 316 to 322. And that is sort of, you know, telling you that this pallet was 200 pieces and this batch was 485. <laughs> so very important. Make sure you understand case IDs. These are created by EVE. And that basically tells them that, yeah, we are sta our, we are sta our name is behind this batch of cells and we, we sort of stand behind it. So this is sort of how they arrive. They're basically in a, um, you know, in a um, official Eve pallet, and they have the UN3480. So all of our cells uh, are compliant with the entire um, shipping safety requirements for lithium batteries. The entire supply chain meets those requirements, and this is just kind of showing you how how they arrive. And here's just kind of overview how our uh, where the labels are. Each pallet has them, so you can sort of correspond. When we give you the spreadsheet or we have the, the information on our label, you can correspond to whatever is um, on the actual pallet. All right, so now how do you actually know what you have when, when, they, when, when Eve sends these to you? Well, 
each official certified cell batch comes with a full report. Uh, this report has the serial number, the actual manufacturer tested capacity, the over voltage, I mean, the, the cell charge voltage uh, at charge one ohm, uh, the resting voltage, second, second ohm reading, and the third voltage, uh, resting voltage reading after test, and the resistance reading. So you will see that it clearly explains every serial number in that pack, all 485 cells, Everything that they measure to, what they tested to, where they are. And you can see it's 200 cells per pallet. So that's the pallet number. That's pallet number one. And then we go down, we can go see pallet number two. So we can see that we have matching synch synchronized pallet numbers and IDs. And that is the way that you would get it if you were an automotive OEM manufacturer. Now, note there's variances. Some of them are 319, some of them are 320. It can be anywhere from 322 to 316. So when we sell four packs, we'll try to group these as close as we can. So one or two amps is okay, but we don't want a situation where there's a big delta. I will tell you, when you're buying these grade B cells that have fake labels, first of all, they don't even come close to 316. You're probably only getting like 304, 305. Maybe it could be as low as 285, you know, 260. 270 even so you can have a humongous delta and you will not know unless you actually do your own testing uh, but this testing is done by the manufacturer it's what the automotive oems use so that's what we have and uh, uh, you can see all 485 cells in this batch you know are in this sort of report so very important official eve test report gives you the full information so that you know what you're getting is actual certified grade A cells. So when we get the cells, they look like this. Notice there's no terminals on them. And that's because normally these are assembled in a pack. So because they're assembled in a pack, they're welded, not very DIY friendly, we will actually go ahead and install these you know, uh, uh, studs for you. Uh, the stud is an aluminum base with a stainless steel post and it's press fitted into place. So what that does is it makes sure that the aluminum base can be welded onto the aluminum terminal. So it's easier for DIY projects. And at the same time, you can assemble or disassemble the, the pack as needed. So it, you'll, you'll see it's being fiber uh, laser welded onto the terminal. And it's done one at a time. So it's a laborious process, but once done, you have a, a nice DIY friendly cell. Um, we then put them in UN3480 compliant packaging. Um, as you can see, the original eaves, if we look at it, it was not very uh, thick. It's not, it's not, it, it will get damaged during shipping. So we will go in and make a nice uh, inch and a half thick EPE foam cushioning with plastic squares. And then it's packaged on to um, double walled boxes and it's ready for a one meter drop test. So basically you can drop this from three feet from the air onto the ground and it's not going to damage the cells. So it keeps it very strong and secure. Um, finally, we put labels on our cells and we actually put a label that makes sense. It's a genuine label. Each of our cells has its own label um, and it has the same information that was on that spreadsheet put onto this label. So you have a quick view of what exactly is going on and you'll see that during this label process, it's, it's quite a long, laborious uh, process, but it's important that you have this information so that you know when you're building your DIY project or DIY battery, you, you can match them based on the um, uh, capacity. Um, whereas with, with grade B, you, you really have no idea what, what is going on and uh, that can be you know quite, quite a, a, a pain. So um, as you can see, one of the employees is now going to um, take that sale, match it. And uh, yeah, it takes quite a while. I would say probably adds about five five to 6% increase in, in cost uh, with these sales. But um, having done DIY personally, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. I, I We absolutely need to have a real genuine label, not a fake label that just says, oh, it's, it's 304 amp hours. It doesn't really tell us anything. So as you can see, it's being matched, put in there. And then when you get it, uh, we'll make sure the cells that we that we ship to you, um, you know, are also a sort of matched. 
And the final prep before shipment, we load it onto pallets. And this is sort of how it's it's loaded onto containers sent out uh, to us. Uh, they usually are going to, uh, you know, uh, be wrapped, put in pallets, and then he'll have the UN thirty four eighty, and you know, added at the time of shipping. So all this has to be done legitimately. We don't have the luxury of not declaring ourselves as non as, uh, you know, as as normal goods. These are classified as dangerous goods, and there's an increased shipping cost in it, but. It, it's the only way to make sure sales are coming correctly. If not, they're going to get seized. And who wants to deal with that? Um, we have seen hard horror, horror stories. People order sales from China from a unscrupulous seller, and then they got seized because they weren't classified correctly. And now if they had not paid with a credit, a credit card or PayPal, um, they're not going to get their money back. So it's just not worth the, the savings. So, Basically, to end sort of this video, how to verify if you have grade A or grade B from whatever seller, whether it be us, demand a copy of that green and yellow spreadsheet. And if you need a link to us, we can more than happy to send that link to our, our batches whenever you want. They have to have all of the columns shown in, in that format. If it's not green and yellow with all of the columns there, it's a fake spreadsheet. Don't listen to them. Every single automotive manufacturer gets the same exact spreadsheet. This is the way that they sell sales. It's not something Eve decides. It's up to Eve. They would sell every cell they have to. They cannot sell rejected cells that don't meet QC to OEMs. So therefore, this is why you have to make sure it is, you know, done at this standard. <laughs> and again, you know, you can have that spreadsheet. Fake labels are way too common. And you want to avoid this when you see a label that's exactly the same for all the sales. You buy 10 sales from some, you know, an Ali, Ali seller, and they, they have the exact same label on there. That's complete nonsense. It never happens. Um, you know, they, they're going to have, first of all, they're failed. They're rejected sales because they didn't meet QC. And it, it, it could be anything. It could be 260 amp hours. It could be 250. It, it can sometimes even 281. But they're certainly not going to meet the requirements. And if they did, Eve would not, Eve would sell them as certified sales. So literally almost all the websites you're seeing, even a lot of the websites in the USA with these really cheap prices, $600, $700, they're all rejected sales and they all have fake labels on them. Um, they, you do not know what the actual capacity is. So that should be the first dead giveaway. If, if they don't have the actual thing on there, I would generally avoid it. Some of them will even try to give you a fake sample report. Uh, we get this sample report too. This is not a substitution for that green and yellow spreadsheet. It does not, it's missing key information. It does not have the full serial number of the cell. And you can literally use this spreadsheet for anything. I mean, all they do is, oh, look at the last 0197. It's a, that's the last four digits. I could throw that in anywhere. And it's a sample report. so. This, there's no way for you to match the serial number on your cell with the serial number on this sample report. So this is as as this is worthless. And even if we have that green and yellow spreadsheet, if we just gave this to you and said, "Hey, just rely on this," we would basically be doing the same fraudulent activity that Ali sellers are doing. So how do people get grade B cells? Well, they're sold at auction for a third of the price. The profit margins are more extremely high. You can actually get these cells for as cheap as $30 to $40 a cell. Something that the manufacturer normally sells you for $160, you can get it for, you know, or $100, you know, $150, you can get it for cheap as $34, $40. Because manufacturers not going to warranty them. They have no incentive. They're just trying to minimize their loss. Um, if I have a 10% failure rate, I want to recoup as much money as I can from that 10% failure rate. So we'll sell these cells in the open market and, uh, they're not good for automotive use. Maybe people can figure out something else, but you understand you have no idea what you're getting. Um, all we can tell you is they did not meet the automotive grade. So it's a gamble. And if you're going to buy grade B, buy more than you need. A goal, a rule of thumb is if you need four cells, buy five, cherry pick the best four and build your pack that way. <laughs> we did learn this from, from the hard way, and one of our very first videos was a grade A, grade B cell test video. And that shows you what can happen when you go in there. Do not just look at the voltage, because that is just not true. So if you want to see the actual problem, go watch this video, grade A versus grade B cell test. You'll see that one cell draws about 90 amps 
to provide 200 amp hours, while the other cell is having to provide up to 200 amps to provide the same power output. And that is because that is a rejected cell. So it's on our channel, uh, other our main channel, grade A versus grade B, 288 cell lab test. Watch that video and you'll see you know, what can happen. Um, anyway, that is a little bit about the grade A and grade B supply. I hope this video kind of made sense to certain things. Um, whether you buy from us or whether you buy from anybody else, just make sure what you are buying is what they say. Um, every grade B seller will claim to have grade B, grade A sales. No grade B or rejected sell, seller is going to say, oh, yeah, these are totally not grade A, but they're pretty decent. No, they all claim they're grade A. You can ask them very simple. Show me the green and yellow official spreadsheet. And if they don't have it, then understand you're buying grade B.